Yeah, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the second part of this tutorial about uh, image element in the source set attribute and um, the wider topic responsive images. So in the last part we had a look at the source set attribute and defined a list, a comma separated list of images and gave the browser the information about the width of each image. So we defined an image of 1024 pixels width and told the browser with a W descriptor that this image has this specific width. And we defined a second, so um, a medium um, sized image and a small sized image with 320 pixels or 320 W descriptor. And we've seen that the browser is choosing it, the, um, the fitting image just by looking at the size of the screen the browser is run on. And if he sees that the screen like is smaller so in this case we have here now 640 pixels so and we see now the screen has 490 so it's small so but to let the image appear still sharp and good he is choosing the next larger image so this one here with a transport and you see he's learning now the transport image and if he sees that the image is like very small 237 pixels he's choosing the next larger um, image here now in this list and is choosing now the nature image but this new specification has another attribute it's called the sizes attribute where you can specify the image area relative to the browser width so you could specify here now for example 50 um, viewport units in width um, if you don't know about viewport units just have a look at my tutorial about this um, to get a, um, some information about um, this viewport units because they are really useful anyway in any kind of responsive website project of you so now we are telling the browser the image area relative to the browser width is 50 percent now in this case so you see the image just went smaller if I define here 100 um, viewport units in width so you see it's always now 100 but let's go back and define it here 50 so this is changing now as well the functionality here so how the browser will act and which image he will choose because he will now always divide the width of the browser of the client's browser by two to choose out of this list the fitting image so if the image is now here for example 900 so if the width excuse me if the width of the screen is 900 pixels he will divide it by two and see that it is like 450 pixels and the next larger um, image here in this list is 640 so he will use the transport image like we have it already so let's have a look now at a larger screen 1300 for example and divided by two so we are now at 750 pixels so you will see the next larger is now 1024 and you will use city now instead yeah and so on so let's use the nature image here so the smallest so you could already guess it it's 320 and you can um, so let's try now a very small size here so for example 500 pixels he will def divide it again by two because here it's defined 50 percent just of the screen width and you will see it's 250 pixels so the next um, 
proper image would be C320 and if we reload it you see he will use a nature image but this sizes attribute actually can do more it has kind of a media query media query functionality so you could define here now browser when the mm, for example minimum width is lower than 500 pixels mm, use like we had it already 50 viewport units in width otherwise use 100 viewport units in width so the whole width for the image so if it is a very small screen use the whole width of the image and if it is larger than 500 pixels use just half of it so you see he's using now half of it until the screen is smaller than 500 pixels and it will switch to the full size of the screen so as you can see you can really use CSS functionality already here this is not for anybody really cool to use because as you know in CSS you shall define um, the design and in HTML just the structure and now you make here kind of use of CSX func CSS functionality in the HTML element but anyway it is kind of a good functionality you could use it and um, yeah it's just your own decision um, the functionality is there and it is really easy to use and in any way better than we had in the past when it is about responsive images. So I hope you learned something new today and um, I will just give you a hint that here in the source set you can as well define not just a W descriptor which is um, telling the browser the width of the image but as well you can tell with the X descriptor um, tell the browser about the density of the image so if you have for example a retina display with um, a very high res resolution so several Apple devices for example you can define here very high resolute um, images and tell the um, high resolution with this X descriptor for example with 1x is like normal resolution 2x it's double resolution and 3x and so on but for this um, tutorial this is enough now um, I will give you some links to dig deeper into this topic and yeah looking forward for your comments and uh, see you next time for my new tutorials goodbye